In this video, we want to go over some of the features of your TI-89 graphic calculator. Turn it on. Okay. We got a screen up here. Okay. Any sequence of operations you want to do. 25 raised to the second power. Okay. Divide it by 3. Enter. There you go. Okay. Simple enough operations. Here's the menus up here. You want to start with a clean screen, F1, clear home, that's option H, just whatever you have in there is wiped out, cleared out, there we go, okay? Um, most every key has two or three functions on it, okay? Uh, and we will be utilizing them, all right? So just watch what I point to when I point to it. Menu items up here that is of great interest is F2. F2 look at what drops down. Solve, factor, expand, zeros. Let's look at a couple of these. Yes, the TI-89 can factor, can solve equations, and can expand uh, expressions. Let's take a look. Let me take the option expand. So I'm click down. That's a that's an option three. All right. Enter that. I want to expand the expression. Let's say a binomial we want to multiply out. Okay, um, so in parentheses, the expand is a command, and it, everything inside the expand command needs to be enclosed in parentheses. So let's say I want to expand the expression x plus two, x plus two times the quantity. Okay x minus 5, a simple product of binomials by FOIL method, okay? Now, the x plus 2 binomial is enclosed in parentheses as well as the x minus 5, but the expand needs to be enclosed within its own parentheses. There we go. Look at that. The product of x plus 2 and x minus 5 is x squared minus 3x minus 10. Yes, it has expanded that expression. What about taking that and factoring it back to the original? Yes, that can happen too. Let's take a look at that. Clear out this screen. Go to F2. Let's choose the factor. Okay. Factor, option two, enter. Factor what? Well, guess what? I don't even have to type this back in. I can just hit the up arrow, enter, and it goes right back in there. Factor that. Factor is the command. Anything within the command, enclosed with parentheses. Enter. Look at that. Factors right back to that which it came from. Okay? And, of course, we could factor even more sophisticated expressions as well. Okay? Uh, let's take... Uh, Let's do something else a little bit uh, more interesting, okay? So let's clear that. Let's say we want to expand the following. So we're going to expand the product of, of um, three binomials, all right? Expand. I want to take the product of x plus 2, x plus 2, times x minus 5 time I, I have a little issue here because my parentheses are not in sync okay times quantity of x minus 5 okay let's get that sorry about that let's get that back up here wherever it might be okay here it is coming back okay so times uh, the quantity of x minus 5 times the quantity of uh, x plus 4 times the qu parentheses need to be in sync, okay? Quantity of x plus 4 times the quantity of x plus 1. All right. I 
think I had an extra parenthesis in there. I want to check that right here. Okay. Now, so what I'm doing is multiplying x plus 2, x minus 5, x plus 4, and x plus 1. Thank God the calculator can do that because I sure don't want to. Well, guess what? Here's what it is. x to the 4th power, come up here because you're not seeing it all. x to the 4th plus 2x cubed minus 21x squared minus 62x and what's following that, okay? Follows that, 62x minus 40. Whew. Say, now let's say I gave you an equation. The equation says x to the fourth plus 2x cubed minus 20x squared minus 62x minus 40 equals zero. You cannot by hand factor that, at least not at this stage. But your calculator can solve for that and it will solve for it by factoring it and setting each of the factors equal to zero. So here it is again, the expression we're dealing with. x to the fourth plus 2x cubed minus 21x squared minus 62x minus 40 equals zero. Okay, solve that. That should give us the answers of what? x equals 2, x equals 5, x equals negative 2, x equals 5, x equals uh, negative 4, and x equals negative 1. Here we go. Okay? Come on down to the execution screen. Clear it out. Okay? Come up to, to the F2 screen. Click on the solve. Okay? Solve what? I'm going to take this. I'm just going to enter it down here. Solve all that. It's got to be set equal to zero. Equal to zero. Okay? Now, the one thing with the solve command you got to be mindful of, unlike the expand, unlike the factor, you have to tell it to solve for what? We want it to solve for x. So we have to add another parameter. We use the, um, uh, the comma we're going to solve for, so the comma, x. Close the parenthesis. So now you're solving a fourth degree polynomial expression. It's going to solve it by factoring and finding the answers. Are you ready? Here it goes. Taking a little time, thinking about it. It'll get there. Here it is. There are the answers. X equals 5. X equals negative 1. X equals negative 2. X equals negative 4. The exact factors of that expanded expression. Done courtesy of your TI-89. So when you have a problem of this sort, until you learn how to factor something of that variety, your calculator can be used to factor it in some instances. Okay? There's the wonders of the TI-89.